Hi all! In this video we'll talk you through a couple of decoration and design ideas that we used when building our first permanent home. If you haven't already seen the base tour that we created, there's a link up on screen right now. Today we'll look closer at some of the elements of that base and share our design and decoration tips with you. Our philosophy when building a base is to make it as immersive as possible and to do our best to create a feeling of it being lived in. When placing items we often try to give things a purpose and let every area of the house tell a little story. Let's get started with a storage idea for our cooking resources. To keep things practical we wanted to have some food storage close to our cooking stations and cauldron. Initially we placed chests on both sides of the cooking stations, but since this is a rather slim area in the middle of the house, we ended up bumping into the chest or having to jump over them whenever we wanted to move from one side to the other. That's when one of us had the idea to simply integrate the chests right into the floor. You can plan this before building of course, but we fitted our chest retrospectively. For that you'll need to remove the floor where you intend to place the chest and dig a hole underneath. We then used a wood floor within the hole, and it took us quite a few tries to get the right height and perfect space to fit. Once you've managed to place the floor and chest to fit the open space, you can then add some wooden beams around the opening for a more seamless look. As you can see, the storage doesn't take away from the actual space in the house, it's conveniently close to the cooking stations and it allows you to walk over them without any issues. Now to a bit of a bigger area, the bar. We wanted to build a bar to incorporate our fermenting barrels, store all our potions in one place and of course because it looks great. We started with a bar counter by placing half wood walls and for the countertop we use one by one wooden floors which require a little bit of free placing in order to achieve the curved design. To finish it all off we added some wooden beams. We also decided to add a stone arc at the end of the bar, which looks cool as a food serving area. Now to make the bar a proper bar, we added a shelf all around the top, using wood beams and poles. While the shelves at the back of the bar are already looking good, Placing tankage and some other items in the top shelf is making it even more immersive and animated. We used a personal chest underneath the potion shelves to create a small register of sorts. It might be needed to protect your coins from potentially drunken guests. Our fermenting barrels are integrated into the hole design. One is recessed into the wall and the other placed on a slightly elevated corner along with tankards for pouring your delicious brews. Don't forget that you can also use workbench and forge upgrades as placeables. In this case we use the forge cooler as a washing up bucket in the corner. A small tip if you want to create some unique tables. Place a horizontal item stand on a small wooden pole and decorate it with a shield of your liking. Voila! A unique little table! Next up, decorating your tables with food. As you can see here, in this lovely green themed room, you can use horizontal item stands to place all kind of cooked food, potions and even berries on your table. We also placed some knives as cutlery and for an even more cozy ambience, yellow mushrooms serve as table lights. You can also use shields to serve food on plates or platters. In order to achieve this, you'll need to place all item stands first as you won't be able to place any other item on a stand once the shield has been placed. You might need to experiment a bit with the placement depending on the items, but it's pretty straightforward. Round wooden shields are also perfect as serving trays for drinks. On this table we tried to recreate a wooden shopping or breadboard. For this we placed several horizontal item stands in a row of three, but you can of course make a larger board. We then placed a bread on one of the center ones and a small knife on one of the outer ones. We think it looks really nice and different. While we mostly store food and a few essentials in our main house, we wanted a dedicated space for valuables, trophies and a few other miscellaneous items. For this purpose we built a small vault room. 
You can stack chests inside for your treasures and most importantly make the area stand out by making it a separate room. A securely locked iron gate gives it an extra vibe of importance. Just a general tip for decorating. You can use many items which have different purposes to create something new by using your imagination. Most importantly, try to place things in a meaningful way. For example, we place this protective ward in our base purely as decoration because it looks great. However, we also wanted to give it a meaning and thought it would make sense to make it a small statue of worship. So that's why we placed some additional food items around it, representing small offerings. You might already know or have watched our trophy guide. Stone golem trophies are perfect for horizontal item stands. They can be a nice touch for added ambience and in our case we displayed one as a special treasure in our home. It is true that the kitchen is the heart of the home, but the loo or for our friends overseas restroom is surely not to be overlooked. We decided to aptly name ours Odin's Dump. It comes complete with suitable trophies from a blob and yours truly, Bone Mass, as well as a motivational slogan. To create the look of a toilet seat, we used a recessed force cooler. The build method is the same as what we did for our food storage chests. And to finish things off, we placed a hammer where you'd usually find some precious toilet paper. So, how to create a cozy ambience in the bedroom? Luxurious and fluffy carpets are certainly one thing, so are banners which can be used as curtains, room dividers or simply as decoration. We thought the banner in combination with some wood dragon adornments creates a bit of a room separation and ties in nicely with the banners at the back of the main hall. Nightstands can add a unique and cozy touch. You can easily create some by using small wooden beams and one by one wooden floors. Place some potions, the glowy ones are particularly nice and top it up with a fooling totem. We think it looks really awesome. Last but not least, dragon eggs. They are not only looking very precious, but also emit a beautiful soft pink glow. And another item, which we use in a room for a clan mate in this case, is the swamp key. It drops from the elder, the second boss in the game. Swamp keys can be mounted on item stands and are perfect as night lights with their blue pulsating glow. Now what is this? Flower pots in front of the window? Almost. In order to achieve this look, we mounted Grey Dwarf Brew Trophies outside, in front of the window. We actually think it's one of our better ideas. Let's move outside. As for the inside, these are our own decoration ideas and nothing we think anybody has to or should create. We simply hope they serve as inspiration for your own ideas. Before moving on to the next tip, you can make your base easily come to life by adding items that create the illusion of being used on a day-to-day -day basis. For example, this cultivator is ready for its farming duty right next besides to the vegetable patch. And so is the bucket for watering the plants. Sword and shields are at the hand here for a spontaneous base defense. Stone piles, stone blocks and tools easily make it look like someone has been working here. In order to make one of our entrance doors a little bit more special, we decided to add a circling trophy within an additional door frame. It could simply be seen as a light for the entrance or maybe a doorbell or a sign that somebody is home. There are many ways you can place your beehives, especially if you want to farm more efficiently and the community has already come up with numerous unique ideas. In our case, we decided to add a simple frame of short wooden beams around the wooden pole the hives are resting on. These frames are not decaying in rain, so they always look perfect. We also placed one beehive onto one of the trees we planted. The idea was to create a birdhouse and the good thing is the bees still have enough space to produce honey. Have you seen how tall that tree is? To store all our honey we built a small honey house. It holds two reinforced chests and fits well with our beehives and the small farm stand beside it. A quick tip for some nice looking wall deco. 
you can combine a battle axe and shield with two vertical item stands to create a nice axe shield combination. Sadly, only the battle axe seems to be mounted slightly tilted on an item stand and this might not even be intended, but we think it looks pretty good. We wish this would be a little bit more functional as in allowing us to visibly store raw fish that we caught, but we like the idea of having a small place where you return from your fishing trip, store your fishing gear and prepare your fish. Maybe a future content update will add more items that we can use to improve this area. You can sadly only mount cooked fish on the item stands, not the raw ones. Sorry Nick, you were the best alternative we had. We all know how annoying it is when wooden build pieces are decaying with the weather. And for our harbor here, we simply didn't want to build roofs across everything. While we could build the floors out of stone, we struggled a while to come up with a neat solution for stairs leading into the water. You know just in case you fall into it, not that we ever do that. So one day we had the idea of placing stone arches sideways along the quay and our indestructible stairs were born. While many build dedicated buildings to house their portals, we wanted ours to be part of our outdoor space. To define the area a little bit more, we planted trees to provide a perfect space for our portals. Something to keep in mind, you can place portals back to back to maximize the space like we did here. Our six trees frame eight portals in total. Last tip for today and more of a bonus tip than anything else. You can create some really fancy mid-air text overlays. We used it for one of our doors as seen here, but you can of course use it for anything else like storage or portals and the likes. Simply place a sign next to the area where you want the text to appear and add a lot of spaces either left or right of the text, depending on the direction. Please keep in mind that this only works one way, you can't see the text from both sides. That's it, we hope some of our building ideas will inspire you to go out and enhance your own buildings. Thanks for watching and do subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you wish to see future videos.